Pam and Jordan's first time in Africa. <laughs> but we do know that there will be a second time. Because they were so impacted by all of you. And much of what is happening with the school buildings would not be possible without their support. So we're very thankful for them. And they're going to be going back and sharing with all their friends in Canada and the United States. So we can continue <laughs> to do all the building and all the things here in Zimbabwe. <laughs> She said she's so <laughs> thankful, I mean, that the kids got sponsored, all of them, okay. and uh, they now have new uniforms, shoes, they recently <laughs> got jerseys, so she said she feels really like it's working out for her, you know, she's <laughs> very happy. <laughs> So right now we are able to begin to build this, but of course it's finances in the end. And so we're really seeing this as we're building our school, as we just saw, to now begin to look at building these teachers' quarters. And so in the midst of hearing that story, Pam, and, and, and feeling drawn, how has that impacted you about wanting to be involved in this? <laughs> I'm in 110%. It just makes you want to strip off, you know, everything of value to put it into these projects so i'm just so excited uh for the next time we come back to mm. see but i'm we are fully committed to making sure that we bring as many people on this journey with us because it is beautiful and it is enriching <laughs>
Pam and Jordan, it's just such an honor to have you guys here on the ground. We've been sharing this with you for 12 years, and you guys have been involved in incredible ways uh, with Let's Give Them Hope. But again, it's one thing to hear about these things. It's another thing to actually come and to see what's happening. So just give us a highlight or two, each of you, about what you're seeing and, uh, and what you're sensing, even as you go back to Canada and the United States. Well, the purpose here is so amazing. You, my life will never be the same. You can't come to a place where there's so much um, poverty and children have, are literally starving. And then uh, by uh, our giving, we're giving out of excess and you see the changes it makes. You mm. see children being fed. You see children being educated and nourished in every part. And then this place is beautiful. I mean, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and um, I know we're going into town today uh, and we're gonna see more poverty today and then to come on to this campus and see life and see joy um, I am so motivated to do more mm. so um, I'm just very thankful mm. awesome. and I would just second that as well and, and echo that um, it's hard to come from our lives um, in North America and see the life and death decisions that are being made here all because of a couple hundred dollars and so it's uh it is it's really overwhelming but... Thank you.